Hey guys, yeah, I know it's been a long time since I got a video up. Um, took me a while to decide what exactly direction I was going to go in. Um, ended up deciding just to stick with Rockford for this season again. Um, didn't really accomplish last season what I wanted to, so we're going to do it again this year and see how it works. So, order came in today, all the Rockford stuff. Um, I, the only thing from the old system I'm going to be reusing will be the T3s and the 360.3 but pretty much everything else is new so this is going to be your basic unboxing um, oh yeah by the way I got new camera as you can probably already tell because there's no shakiness in the video really sure what is this ah okay speaker wire holy shit no wonder it was so heavy door 50 foot 12 gauge know what these are One second. Okay, it's one of three, well, two of three of the T400-2, which is going to be powering all the front stage. There's, the amp. There's going to be one amp for tweeters, one amp for... Uh, mids and then one amp for the eight that are going in the door. I think this is a box of just all the odds and ends. Yeah, um, all the fuse holders, fuses. It's actually expensive boxies. Oh, I'll go through everything later, but um, I don't. I didn't look at the tag on this. I'm not sure what's in this, but we'll find out. Yeah, this is the the third. T400. And then these will be the eights. Um, gonna be running the eights in the door. I'll go over all that here shortly, but yeah. Yeah, so these are the eights. Shallow mount eights. And then all the RCAs. Um, I'm not gonna reuse. You know what, I'm gonna dump them in that box reuse any of the old RCAs um, I'm gonna use them in a friend's build so I just ordered new ones for me and then this just by the size of the box you should anybody that knows Rockford knows what this is And there we go. The T2500. Uh, mm, kind of a little disappointment on the power output on this one. But hey. Still 30, 3100. Yeah, I was hoping to get a 35 to 3600 AR out there. So, But good enough. It is an SQ car. <laughs> and then... Last but not least are the monsters. 
uh, UPS lady was very upset with me when she delivered today at work because these things are heavy I think they're like 56 pounds a piece pretty sure that's what they were but, uh, give me a second I'm going to set down the camera to get these out Here are the new subs, the T2s. Um, they're going to be replacing the Fives. Not that, hey guys, not anything bad to say about the Fives. Uh, I like the Fives. Um, I'm just going for a new direction. Where the hell did that come from? Hmm. There they are. And I'll get them out, put them up on a workbench, but here they are, and that's just the second one there. So this is basically what's going in there. Um, I will show you. This is going to be the basic setup. This is what I submitted to Rockford. Um, so we start out. I already have one of the batteries in the car up front. Um, then we're going to be doing T3s. They're going to go up in the A pillars most likely. Uh, the T3 woofer is going to go in a custom built kick panel. Then the 8s, shallow metal 8s are going to go in door and stock location. We're going to mod to make them fit. Uh, there's going to be very little modding done to this car uh, because of the class that I'm trying to stay in for Mecca, which is street modified. Um, so, therefore, light modding done. The three T400s powering up the front stage. The T25 to power the two. 12 inch subs and then two more excess D3400s in the trunk um, that's pretty much what we got in design wise okay here's one of the T2s out of the box um, all I can say is yeah wow um, I don't know if you can actually see it in there, but big four inch voice coils inside. Monstrous triple stack. Um, I mean, they're the hole for the vent cooling. I mean, yeah, just monstrous. But um, we're only going to be running at two ohms off the amp, which will be fine because this amp I got. 3,000 at 2 and 3150 at 1 ohm so I'm only giving up 100 watts and the whole reason behind it was because they did not have the dual 2 ohms they are completely out of them and it wouldn't have been until late March until I could get them so but here's the biggest joke of all the rating on these is they rate them at 1200 watts where I don't know anybody running under 1500 watts into one of these so but that's what we got stay tuned for the tear down of the car and the build so it would, it'll be a little while I am going to put this video up for you guys quickly um, since it's been a long time since I did a video but I'm going to wait until I have like a complete completed video of the whole you know segment so maybe a month before I have the next video up. But thanks for following and hey, don't forget to hit that like button.